everyone welcome to vimola.com in this video tutorial we'll be seeing how to create the domestic pipe works to our sanitizers which are in toilets the last video we have discussed about creating the sanitary systems and if you see that we have a floor plan plumbing and we have created this much at the moment and we have drawn a pipe couple of pipes which is one pipe which is running 65 millimeter domestic cold water the other one other two are domestic hot water pipes usually there will be a domestic flow and domestic return pipes depends on the country and depends on the project requirement there will be a one or two pipes if you don't have any return pipes you will have only the flow pipes so in this case we have to create flow system and return system not the hot water system directly if you are going down to the family and if you are opening this plus mark you'll be able to see these options like pipe system pipe system underneath that we'll have option to create a domestic hot water system right click and duplicate and we can rename this as hot water flow and rename the other one as return the flow which is in red color i like to change the return because after the return it will be a lesser in heat so we can change the color of this object graphics I'm right clicking on this option and going to the type property of the system under that graphics override edit change this color into a light color maybe like this okay okay there are a couple of other settings that are available in this place but i don't want to change those settings. leave it as it is once if you are changing the system's names and if you select the pipe type and left side pipe system it says domestic hot water flow now domestic hot water flow you can change this as domestic hot water return and the system color automatically changes as light red color and we have to create the pipes to the rooms use the create similar right click create similar or say is the shortcut this time the pipe size it is going to be say 25 millimeter for the water domestic cold water which is going to run to the sinks and urinal and to the or wc's and we need this hard water flow is going to be size will be defined by the design engineers at the moment these are the standard size for the element so i'm just drawing these as okay, it's similar 15 millimeter okay let me space this intervals correctly make the dimension Let me keep this as gap 100. Between all those. Select three pipes. Now move it a little further to the wall. Like this. We can take a branch out here it's similar and we can drop pipe here so that we will be able to drop it downwards this way and create similar in this room only in this place we require the hot water systems so we can 
use the trim and extend command to trim and extend this position. So we may have changed the height height heights. So let's make this as in different height. To understand clearly, we can go to this section here, which is here. There are three pipes which is running. You can change the heights like this. Go to the floor plan again. You can use the trim and extend this command to extend this pipe. Use the other command with these two pipes. End the pipe. Go to the 3D view and check how it has been. It's going to appear like this. Coming back to the plan, we need to draw pipes downwards. Draw pipe. I usually do like this. So maybe 500 millimeter in this direction. Similarly, create similar. We can select all these pipes, move towards the wall, so that we will be able to do a box, box out in this way. So that the people cannot access the pipe, it will be completely closed in the environment. We can come back to the plan and rotate this section. If you have already all the ways, draw a section in this direction. Go to the view and make this view as fine detail. You'll be able to see them very clearly. Plan view. Rotate these pipes. To the other direction. And they are overlapping each other, we can adjust their position in section 2. Usually, the hot water return and flow will be connecting together with the control valves. How do they want to uh, connect between them? So, how much water need to be flow to the tab and the heat will be controlled in this phase based on their flow state. The remaining two pipes will be controlled by angle cop with the bottom of the sink or it will be connected with the hose after that with the angle cop it will be connected the hose flexible pipe work from the angle of the fixtures. So I'm leaving this pipe works as in this place. But if you see that there are a couple of wall arrangements like IV control walls will be there and gate walls or wall arrangements will be there depends on the project and the country that mostly angle of will be there. To control the flows of hot water flow and return we will be have a couple of intersection wall arrangements. Let it be as it is, or if you need, I can show it as systems, the procedures will be same, like this one. Let's say that we have a motor control valve, and take that. And we will be able to place it on the hot water. Okay. And similarly, you will be able to be able to place any control valves on 
this based on that. Going to the other side, road plan. We need to draw a pipe work from here. A system which are the urinal. Or uh, you can select this urinal, use the connect it to option and select the pipe. It automatically connects from the top side. You just need to place a bar to control the flow. And this is how it looks. So the flow plan. The pipe. So this is the pipe. I'll select it, connect with the pipe, then have enough space. And if you see the select the equipment, and if you see on this side, and we don't have enough space for the bendings, so we'll be able to use the align command to align the pipe position. This is the connection point. Use the align command. Connection point with this pipe. And we may have to move these with it. Now, if I'm trying to connect this, I just connect into option. This pipe will be connected inside the Based on the fixtures, some, some fixtures will have side connection. Based on that, you will have to do connect it. And you can do the remaining fixtures like so for the sink, you will be able to copy this again. And you can paste it here. If you need to follow the same systems, you can take the branches out of these and you will be able to connect with this based on the new record. Do practice this with the other room and I'll be seeing on the next tutorial. And you will be able to download from this this file from our website, remodel.com. If you have any queries, please leave them. See you on the next